Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today I am doing a scenario suggested by one of you. Through the magic of editing, I will hopefully have it on screen now. And what we're doing today, we have three Roman legions supported with auxiliaries and artillery, and having a reinforcement of 1,000 cavalry, going up against 25,000 wild men. So this was a scenario that I really like the look of, so many thanks for suggesting it, and if you want to suggest future scenarios, make sure to comment them below. Now once again, the, the response for these videos has just been absolutely bonkers, so thank you all so much for your continued support on the videos, and for all of you still liking and subscribing, it's great to see. So what I'm going to find interesting here is where I've tried to split the Romans into legions, of course I can't split them into uh, centuries and cohorts because that's that's just a limitation of the game at the moment. But it's going to be quite interesting to see if the Barbarians just try and run through here. So the scenario is, it's kind of like uh, the way Boudicca's Rebellion was kind of crushed. We've kind of forced the Barbarian Hordes back against like a mountain and they're kind of trapped. And now it's time to see if they can escape. So without further ado, we shall get this scenario started and see if I've set this up all correctly. Is the cavalry charging? They are. That's good. But the wild men are now coming forth to try and destroy it. I'm going to turn cinematic mode on to start off with. And it looks like Robert is releasing updates almost like daily at the moment. So good on you, Robert. Um, appreciate the hard work you're putting in. And the feedback on the Steam store seems to be going down really well with the vast majority of people. So that is obviously great to see. So I hope my archers are going to start firing soon. Okay, that's good. So here we have 40,000 men going at it. And it looks like they're going to try and plug the gap. Now, what I could do... Actually, no, they're just going straight for the legions. With the artillery hitting the wild men. Now, I have buffed up the Romans a little bit. Because the wild men do have far higher uh, attack and health than the base legionary so I bumped up the stats of the Romans a smidge and we're hopefully going to see that come to fruition here and the cavalry is now hitting in to the wild men's flanks now I've heard what you're saying and the majority of you don't like me to command troops so I am going to just let this scenario play out for a change although the cavalry it would be nice if they could pack a bit, a bit more of a punch that's my only kind of criticism with the cavalry really they don't they tend to get stuck and bogged down and it looks like... Uh-oh. Okay, no, they're just going after the legionaries. But hit... Oh, no, that, that one guy's going straight for the archers. It'd be hilarious if he actually managed to kill all of them. That'd be kind of amazing. Okay, let's take cinematic mode off so we can kind of get an idea of the numbers. And it's looking kind of even. The Roman legionaries look to have killed a few more. But at the moment, it looks like the wild men might take the battle here. See, when a wild man gets through, he can cause devastation amongst the archers. But no, he's going for the legionary again. There we go. Hack him down! And did that Roman take any health? No! Okay. So the legions appear to be holding, for now at least... And we can kind of see how the Roman formation... It's kind of getting pushed back a little bit. So the centre legion seems to be holding strong. The one on the left flank here seems to have taken a few more casualties. And we have the right flank supported by the cavalry now. So they should be able to hold for a little bit longer. Let's see how long we can get a Roman soldier to survive. On the front line. Not for very long when they get broken out of formation. So that's one thing that we really need to watch. Okay. Well, it looks like I might have buffed up the Romans a little bit too much. But they still had around ooh, 200 less health than the wild men. And less attack speed than the wild men. But it looks like they're making a dent in this flank.
I wonder if he's worth taking a few wild men and charging the archers. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do it. Despite you all saying I shouldn't command troops. I'm going to do it. Okay. Let's go. Okay, they are following. That's great. Okay, sorry. The Romans have 100 less health. Uh, but the wild men did have the numbers and the higher attack. But I think when the Romans are kind of in that formation, it's uh, pretty difficult for them to be beat. But the soldiers here... Oh, sorry. The, uh, the archers should be able to go down pretty easily. And I'll leave those wild men to do whatever the hell they want. They're causing a bit of mayhem. And the legion... Oh my god, the one on the left flank is taking the brunt of the casualties here. Their formation has been really, really screwed up. I think the majority of the cavalry has probably perished. But the wild men have killed 4,500... I think it's only from the fact that I've given the Romans catapults and archers that they're doing as well as they are. I don't think the cavalry did too much in the grand scheme of things. It's kind of, it looks really cool when they're all in a little formation like this. However, it doesn't even look like you can push forward. <laughs> I know you can just see the line of wild men getting closer and closer. Oh. Into the front break I go. Made a mistake. Oh, the Roman soldier only has 110 health. <sighs> I know what I've done. I've split them into Roman... So we have a Roman soldier with 300 health. So that's my custom one. And then, is this one also the custom one? This one is also the custom one. So the left flank, I guess, is made up of auxiliaries. <laughs> uh, but they still managed to hold pretty well. So even if I have done the base scenario, it looks like they still would have been able to survive. Actually, you know what? I didn't need, to, I didn't need to, to command troops. The remaining legions can hold. At least I hope they can. They're slowly getting pushed back. Over here, the attack has completely faltered on this side. Oh my god. Just the, the piles of bodies just in front of the legion. Cavalry just holding now. Although I think the majority of the cavalry has well they probably died a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, they got destroyed by the wild men. But it looks like the Romans have got this pretty easily now. The wild men only around fourteen hundred remaining. And they're just dropping like flies. I think having the power of the catapults and the archers really has given the advantage to the Romans. Which, although they wouldn't have had, like, catapults, they would have had various kind of uh, artillery in the legions. So I tried to make it as accurate as I could. And then the auxiliary troops of the archers there. It looks like the last of the... Middle flank, centre flank. It's not really a flank, is it? The middle, the, the, the remaining enemy of the centre have all perished. Now the remaining wild men are getting hit 
by a barrage of archers and artillery. And the battle lasted all day. The sun is now setting at 5 p.m. So it took like 11 hours for the Romans to be victorious here. So good for them. So the Roman are victorious. Let's exit to the menu. I just want to try something. I haven't used the nuke before. Oh, I think that's a bug. Yeah, I haven't used the nuke before. So we're just going to see what the nuke looks like. I'm sure you already have seen the nuke. Uh, but... Let's see if that gives any more advantage to the wild men if I let it loose in a Roman legion. Or if that will just destroy them. Because everyone's been telling me N is what I need to press for nuke. So let's just start this battle. Wait for the wild men to get a little bit close. And then boop. Oh! Okay. Oh. oh my gosh, that's awesome. They're going to die now. And there. Oh my god, you can just turn it into a nuclear freaking wasteland. And then the cavalry are going to come over. Marcelo, I'm going to see how the cavalry do against a small group of wild men. Because they're, they're coming bounding over the slope. That was awesome. Boom. Boom. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, just to finish him off. Is there anyone still alive? Apparently there's 130 on each side remaining. Oh, the cavalry are still going. And they're about to meet a mark, the wild men. So here we go, chaps. And chapesses. So, yep, they're dead. So they just get caught and then bogged down. So, you know what. <laughs> there we have it. So... Hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, make sure to leave scenarios in the comment section. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.